2K Emphasis provides world-class online IT training, staffing and software testing solutions to customers worldwide. H2K Emphasis, how we are different from our competitors. 100% job oriented training, hands-on project work, cloud test lab, resume preparation and review, mock interviews, robust syllabus, one-time fee and lifetime access to classes, access to recorded sessions of live classes. H2K Emphasis has won the trust of thousands of students worldwide. For a free demo class, visit us at h2kemphasis.com. Very fine, going a bit faster for now. I'll repeat this again. I'll ensure that all of you are uh, all of you got this. So now, I what I need to do is I need to do c s c space one dot c s. So this is how this is your C sharp compiler. So C sharp compiler is C S C. C S C is C sharp compiler. So you need to type C S C followed by one dot C S. One dot C S. The moment you press enter, it will compile your C sharp code. It is compiling now. Compilation is done. The moment your code is compiled, did you notice anything? One more file got added. One dot E X E. One more file got added. Let me delete it. I'll show you again. I'll delete this file. I will compile my code again. I'll I'll repeat again how to compile it. So Windows R. I'm opening command prompt cmd. Once I open command prompt, my one dot cs file is present inside D drive H2K. So let me go to D colon, and then and then type cd H2K. CD is like come to this directory. So I I am now in H2K directory, which is same as where I created one dot CS. Now what I need to do is I need to type CSC space H2K dot CS. This is how you normally compile a C sharp file. So sorry, why I am getting so it is not H2K dot CS. What is the file name which I gave? So it is actually one dot cs. Okay. So now let's try to modify this. So csc space. Let's try to modify this. Uh, let's try to uh, change the code. Change the compilation. csc space one dot cs. So the moment I compile it, you can see that one exe file has been created. So now if I want to execute this, all I need to do is I need to type one. See now I am seeing the output hello world. Okay, so this is how you need to compile your C sharp code without using Visual Studio. Okay, so in interviews, normally when I go for interview, uh, when I take interview also, the first question if I ask is, uh, I want to create a simple C sharp program. Do I need Visual Studio? So most of you will tell yes, I want Visual Studio. You no, you don't need to have Visual Studio. So, if you want to write simple C# -sharp programs, all you need to do is Notepad and .NET Framework. .NET Framework, because inside .NET Framework you will have compiler. What is what is C# -sharp compiler? What is the name of C# -sharp compiler? It is it is CSC. CSC is the C# -sharp compiler. CSC. Okay. So, so now, who wants to take it up now? Uh, I'll who wants to take this up and who wants to compile this? code so i'll make one of you as presenter who wants to take this up okay so i'll make uh, bavik as presenter so let me see whether he can do it or not okay so i click on this change role to presenter okay so one of the students, uh, I'm making Bavik as presenter. So he is going to show us how to compile a C sharp program. So we are just seeing your screen. Okay, great. So now, all of you, please, uh, please see here. So, so you you can create a simple. Don't give lengthy names. Give some simple file name. Uh, don't give my first C sharp program like that. Yeah. And also, don't give big big folder names. Give some give some simple folder name. So, can you please uh, create another folder? Just give simple names. New folder. You can give H2K. 
yeah okay so now you can save that using system class hello okay everything is right okay so save it file save as you need to go to that folder and yeah and then wait a minute here you need to select all files you have text documents right select all files and then give in double quotes give in double quotes file name as 1.cs in double quotes in double quotes yeah 1.cs click on save yeah okay just verify whether it's saved or not yeah okay great so now when you save it like that you can see in the type what is it showing in the type it is showing a uh, visual c sharp source file if it is a text file it will not show like that okay so all the students please keep this in mind you need to give double quotes and select all files to save it as .cs file yeah thank you bavik so now you can compile it so how to go to e drive if your file is in e drive so you need to click e colon right now now what you need to do cd space you need to go to your folder h2k right now how to compile what is c sharp compiler csc space csc space 1.cs perfect so it is compiling now now you can see that in um, for bavik it one file has been added now okay so now how to execute this file in command prompt if you want to execute that file okay if you want to execute that file you just need to type the exe file name so just need to type one o n e yeah so so you can see that hello world is created so now go to your notepad again uh, bavik go to your notepad again so remove that semicolon at the end of console dot white line yeah remove that semicolon save it now we'll go back to the command prompt again and now can you compile it again csc space file name file name file name file name our file name is 1.cs 1.cs now you can see that i am getting an error so i am getting exactly it is telling which line which column what is wrong so it is telling sixth line 36th column you are missing a semicolon which is expected see now very good right it is telling you completely what you need to do so so that is how we can actually uh, correct the errors okay yeah now you can correct it and then compile it again so how to correct it go to your notepad add a semicolon and then save it and then write your command again csc space 1.cs okay great okay so thank you very much uh, bavik so i'll make the presenter role okay so now any questions now how to compile c sharp program so only a uh, couple of you who don't have advanced system settings or who who are not able to uh, who are not able to add in uh, add in system settings or whatever for them for them what they can do is okay so what they can do is they can give the complete path here so instead of giving csc space 1.cs what they need to do is they need to give the complete path of this so so i'll tell how they need to do is they need to go to a uh, version folder and then copy this path copy this path and then and then paste it here and then slash csc space they need to give 1.cs okay so okay sorry i need to share my screen sorry sorry i need to share my desktop yeah so so what i was telling here is 
so those uh, I, I I'll repeat again because I have not shared my screen so for those who don't have advanced system settings what they need to do is they need to click on uh, they need to go to this folder copy this path copy this path and then paste it here and then give slash csc space one dot cs so all you need to do is you need to give the complete path of your compiler c sharp compiler and then give space and then you need to give one dot cs so that way you can compile it so now it is compiling so so that is a different so for those who have who is able to do it uh, in advanced system settings they can simply type csc for those who are not able to do it they need to give the complete path so let me delete this and let me try to do it again let me open my command prompt again windows r cmd cmd i'm opening command prompt so now what i can do here is now i need to go to this path where my cs file is there so go to d drive go to cd h2k and then what i need to do is copy the path where i have my dotnet framework installed and uh, copy this copy this and then right click here and paste it so you cannot press control v if you press control v it will just type this it will show this so you cannot press control v if you want to paste it in command prompt you need to right click and paste once you do that you have to go to you have to give your compiler name slash csc space give your one dot cs this is how you normally so for those who who are not able to do it this is how you need to do you need to give the complete path now i will see that exe so now how to execute it i need to give one so i'm saying hello world okay so this is how we normally compile a c sharp program okay one more thing which i need to tell is along with your dotnet framework along with your dotnet framework you will get four compilers the compiler which you know already is c sharp compiler so c sharp compiler is csc.exe so now let's see what are the other compilers we have so we have here vbc so vbc is vb compiler so i'll ask the questions again so please uh, listen so vbc.exe is your vb compiler and csc.exe csc.exe is our c sharp compiler and we have we have something called let me type uh, let me go back to exe files give me a second yeah okay so the first compiler which we have is which we have here is csc.exe which is your c sharp compiler c sharp compiler so the second one which we have is jsc which is j sharp compiler so we have c sharp compiler we have j sharp compiler we also have vb compiler okay so vb compiler so we have three compilers so with dotnet framework so c sharp j sharp and vb compilers three compilers so i repeat again c sharp compiler is csc and j sharp compiler is jsc and vb compiler is vbc so now can someone ping me the three compiler names can you guys ping me what are the names of the three compilers vbc csc and jsc okay so what is jsc stands for jsc is for which compiler jsc it's not java compiler a lot of people will have confusion jsc is j sharp compiler not java compiler i repeat again jsc is j sharp compiler okay so so now uh, one more one one more question can you guys ping me where is the what is the path for yes vbc is for vb compiler vb stands for visual basic vb compiler csc is for c sharp compiler so now can you please ping me what is the path for dotnet framework where i need to verify whether dotnet framework yeah i said four compilers sorry it's three compilers yeah 
uh, yeah dotnet framework you need to verify in sql and windows microsoft dotnet framework and version 4.0 okay okay so now i'll ask some questions so let me see who will answer so okay i'm not seeing response from all of you so i'll be happy if you respond to me so now right line is a method which is present in which class first question right line is a method which is present in which class yeah console class okay so now c sharp is case sensitive true or false yeah all the namespaces all the namespaces are present inside your dotnet framework folder true or false yeah it is true we have uh, okay so namespace is collection of classes so namespace is collection of classes so is my voice breaking or is it clear yeah okay okay so now how do you compile a c sharp file csc space you need to give file name so you need to compile using csc space file name okay how do you execute the file which is created you just need to give file name okay or you can also give file name dot exe even that will work okay what how, how many compilers we have in uh, we how many compilers we get along with dotnet framework yeah along with dotnet framework we get three compilers i told four actually uh, i think we have only three compilers okay so this is about um, introduction introduction class okay so now what we'll do is so normally after every day i'll be sending the assignments for all of you uh, which I'll be verifying. So you have to send me without fail before next class. Uh, I'll check out a way to do that. How to send to all of you uh, the assignments. Um, so let me show the assignment for day one. Uh, so ASP.NET assignments. So if you see here, uh, so what is a namespace? What is BCL or FCL stands for? So I'll tell this. What is this? If you don't know the answer, anyway, you can. Uh, I'll anyway explain it in the next class. But uh, if you don't know, you can Google and add this answer. But definitely, I'll tell the answer in the next class. So console is pr is a class present in system namespace. True or false? What is the path where dot and framework is installed by default? Write a simple C sharp program to print hello world. Compile it and add here. So what are the three compilers we, which comes with dotnet framework what does dll stands for so like this we have some questions uh, so ensure that you have to work every day at least you need to spend around half an hour to 45 minutes uh, you have to send me all the answers for these questions so that i will feel like okay you are getting the concepts okay so we'll figure out a way to uh, send the assignments to all of you every day you'll be getting assignments like this day one assignments day two assignments day three assignments like this okay so now so i told like uh, what do we call all these things uh, i told inside this we have a lot of dlls so what do we call those dlls i told something sometime back if you were able to if you can able to recollect all these dlls we call it as dll stands for dynamic link library or what is dll is it dynamic link library or data link library okay i'll leave it to you uh, anyway you have to send this uh, in in the assignment so my question is what do we call all these dlls these are all libraries these are all libraries all these dlls are libraries so we call these libraries as we can call this as framework class libraries framework class libraries so all these are in short. Uh, sorry, um, I'll repeat. I'll I'll just ping all of you. So we call all these DLLs as framework class libraries. Okay. Uh, for a week, uh, we'll be having three classes per week. 
um we can go for one and a half hour per day or even if all of you are fine we can plan for two hours per day um i'm fine with either ways so let me check with adani so are you fine with one and a half hour or are you are good for two hours yeah so i'm getting response like uh if yeah let's have it for one and a half hour or okay yeah otherwise you might feel like bit bored because we don't even watch a movie for 2 hours right yeah okay so now okay so what is fcl stands for can all of you ping me fcl stands for i just told sometime back fcl stands for framework class library okay FCL stands for Framework Class Library. All these DLLs, whatever you see here, whatever you see here, all these DLLs constitutes. Uh, these are all called library files, which can be reused. These, uh, these, all these uh, constitute your Framework Class Library, .NET Framework Classes Library, or sometimes people even even call this as BCL. BCL. So even sometimes you can call this as BCL. Can you guess what could be the expansion of BCL? It is base class library. Yeah, base base class library, base class library. Okay, so so that is the question which I have here. Uh, so what does BCL or FCL stands for? Base class library or framework class library? So can you? Uh, so I already told like we have a lot of namespaces. Okay. so all of you please tr please work on the assignments uh, please send me without fail because that that gives uh, confidence to yourself and as well as as a trainer i feel like okay uh, students are doing uh, something okay that gives some self satisfaction okay so i will figure out a way to send this to all of you and regarding the class uh, uh, regarding the class we can only have at 8:30 because uh, most of the students are comfortable at 8 o'clock so we'll be having at 8 o'clock um it might be difficult to move it to 8:30 um okay yeah 8 o'clock um uh, okay and uh, the first part of the session uh, but many like uh, you have not missed much uh, the when you started that is where we started um it is again uh, i'm not sure how many days uh, normally it is for 3 it is 3 classes per week okay so i'm taking another course called database testing uh, which is uh, which is planned for 3 days and 3 days uh, .net so if you are interested to go for 5 classes yeah we can plan for 2 hours so even uh, even i thought of telling you with uh, with the break of 10 minutes we can plan for 2 hours per day uh because three classes per week uh overall we can take six hours stay six hours per week so that the total course duration is 49 hours so so how is how is uh today's discussion like am i going bit faster or you are able to get whatever we discuss and uh and you want me to bit go bit slow or please feel to send your feedback so that uh, this is we are going to go for 49 hours i have to ensure that all of you are happy with the course so i'll see i'll try to go a bit slower uh, yeah so this is my mail id if you have any suggestions you can uh, feel free to drop uh, yeah so yes yes uh you will be getting assignments real time assignments so uh send a mail uh, to to get the content course content you can drop a mail to training at h2k infosys so for this email id you can uh, so you can uh, send your questions or clarifications which you need like uh, weekly how many classes or whatever you you need any any doubts regarding the course you can just drop a mail to training at h2k infosys and regarding the feedback like if you want me to uh, go slower or anything if you think uh, if you have any suggestions for me 
feel free to drop a mail to me meghna.h2kinfosys I will definitely try to implement that uh, database testing is separate course which uh, which I am uh, taking uh, which is separate it is it's not related to dot net okay so tomorrow uh, we actually plan for a demo um, so if you are if you are happy with the course I mean happy with the way uh, that we are we are discussing please refer your friends that way that will benefit uh, as as well as uh, as well as has to gain for this as some referral policy as well so you will also get benefited so it is uh, we can plan for certifications so uh, just a second